What's going on guys, Ozzy here and welcome back to our brand new video. So today we have the 96 overall team of the season so far, Ziyech. And I'll tell you what, this guy's had a few upgrades this year. He went from 4 star skill moves to 5 star skill moves. And with this team of the season card, he's gone from 2 star weak foot to a 3 star weak foot. It looks like EA don't really know where to put this card at because they're upgrading a lot of things. Now I did pick this card up for 405k, which is actually pretty decent for an outstanding camp. 92 pace, 96 dribbling, 95 shooting, 99 passing, and 84 physical. He is 5 foot 11, which is actually a decent height for a cam. The high medium work rates are the perfect attacking work rates, but not the perfect cam work rates. I do prefer medium, medium myself. As I said, the 5 star skill moves is always going to be nice. I'd have only scooped turn the McGeady to flip flap and the 3 star weak foot. The thing is, the 3 star weak foot, yes, they did upgrade it from a 2 star, but it's one of those occasions where he's still not going to be able to shoot on it, but he's going to be able to pass with it. Now, he is on a Hawk Chem style. He's on 10 Chem, 99 acceleration, 93 sprint speed. was actually pretty decent. Now, as I said in the previous video, one thing I do love is when the acceleration is higher than the sprint speed, simply because I can activate that acceleration like pretty much every single time. Like, I could do the little facial around the corner, acceleration is on. Another face round, acceleration is on. I can't activate the sprint speed. That's the problem. Now, shooting wise, he looks absolutely incredible shooting wise. 99 attack and positioning, 97 finishing with the 99 shot power. He does have the outside foot shot trait, no finesse shot trait or chip shot trait. But honestly, all I need is the outside foot shot. 97 long shots, 99 volleys and 94 penalties as well. Passing ability looks out as well. 99 vision, 96 crossing, 89 freaky accuracy, 98 short passing, 99 long passing, and 99 curve. It honestly bugs me how they gave him 98 short passing and not just 99. It literally, as soon as you put 99 in the stat, it honestly looks 10 times better than if you put like 98. It, it just it just does for me. But it's one of those occasions where it's not going to matter. He's going to be able to do all the passes that you think he's going to be able to do. The 99 agility, the 90 balance, the 97 reactions, 96 ball control, 96 dribbling, and 89 composure. Now, I'm actually quite surprised saying that composure is quite low because I thought it was going to be, you know, 93, 94 plus. But apparently it's 89, which is, which bugs me a little bit because I feel like ZH is a calm and composed player in real life. I've seen him play. He's an absolute beast and quite salty that he's moving to Chelsea. But, you know, let's move on with that. Now, 90 balance, I believe it's going to be more than enough. The ball control, the agility is going to come into play. He's going to keep the ball very close to his feet when turning. Now, he has got 99 stamina, which means lasting throughout the whole 90 minutes shouldn't be a problem. 78 strength for a 5 foot 11 player. It could be a bit of a sticky one, I must say. It could be. Now... The one thing I am expecting is this guy to get bodied if he gets into the contact to contact situations. He has got 99 aggression though, which means if he does get bodied, he will not give up. He will fight for the badge and he'll pretty much, you know, try to get the ball back as soon as possible. Now today I have linked him up with Littman, Pele and I believe it's Neres. I've also got the likes of Witzel, Adama and Van Dijk in this team. I will be using Ziyech today in a 4-2-3-1, playing him in that cam roll, but I also want to try these shots without his shots with him because, you know, I'm not going to let a cam have 97 finishing and 99 shot power and not shoot with him. So I'm pretty much going to be playing him in a striker position as well. But let's get into the games. Pele to Ziyech. Ziyech with an RB turn. That is beautiful. I am going to go back to the outside, put it onto the stronger foot and somehow that hasn't gone in. I tell you what, it's one hell of a save by the keeper because I did not think to Stegen was going to save that. I thought that was a guaranteed goal. Ziyech with the RB turn, he did it so fast. He's so agile when he literally spun behind. But it was one of those occasions where I didn't believe I had a perfect shot. So I had to do the skill move to get the angle and still it didn't go in. Do a flick. Flick that way. Flick this way. I am going to go for the volley. My God, that could have absolutely took someone's head off. That man of shot power on that volley. That's unreal. Come on, Ziyech. Little running scoop to around the corner. Come on. Don't get out strength there. That's always going to be a problem. Where if he gets into the situation where he has to, you know, use his strength, it's always, always going to let him down. He's always going to get bodied. I'm going to do a first time face shot. Little turn. Oh my god, get the little pass off, please score the goal, there you go, we have got another goal, but I tell you what, I tell you what, that flip flap absolutely sent that defender, he did it so fast, so precise, where he kept the ball close to his feet after doing the flip flap, so it allowed me to do that quick pass towards the Dharma Traore, and what a finish. Ziyech once again, I am going to do a little fake shot around the corner, try to use that acceleration as fast as possible, there you go, he has got it. Gonna do a Berber. 
gonna cut onto the right side this time then use the left foot through the inside that is literally a perfect goal you couldn't get any better than that you i literally did the burber spin because i knew that defender was gonna get in front of me i wanted to get to you know a little bit of space so i then did the skill move just to you know position to the in to the inside I didn't want to use my right foot there, even though I wouldn't mind the right foot in this situation. I still feel like it's probably going to like hit post or something. So I made sure he used his left foot there, and obviously it's a goal. Witzel to Ziyech. Ziyech. Sombrero flick over the person. I honestly tried it. I said, why not? Let's give it a go. He has gave it up in a stupid situation, and he gets very, very lucky because I'll tell you what. I saw Ziyech making a beautiful run. All I had to do was click A towards him, and most likely it would have been in. Ziyech on the ball. Oh, come on. Ref. This is this is one of this is what I mean about him, right? There is some of those occasions where he does end up he does end up getting like bullied. Bullied to like next level. And he hasn't got the high enough strength to actually fight it off. So he took the touch there, he flicked it over, he said everything was perfect. But when it actually came down to taking a touch, uh, taking the touch, sorry, taking the shot, uh, Ramos put what a finger on him. And then Ziyech started going everywhere. His balance was all over the place. Starts like animations pretty much. And apparently Allison is a god. What a ball it is. All the way over. I don't think Ziyech is actually going to get in front of Sergio Ramos. But let's see his movement there. Do you see that? That is beautiful. But once again, we can't get that shot off. It's always going to be annoying because everyone's like just putting a single finger on him, right? And then he's doing these animations that it doesn't allow him at all. That's great acceleration and it is a beautiful dummy. Little part towards a Dharma Traore, but then I, I think it was Pele. He made the dumbest run going forward. Literally, the attacking AI once again being terrible. Little pass to Ziyech. Flick over the head. I am going to go for the volley and it is going to be into the back of the net. It was a bit too easy there, so I had to mix it up a little bit. I knew... If I probably cut into that right hand finesse with it, it was probably going to go in, even with a three-star weak foot. That's how wide open I was. So I decided, let's put a bit of flair into there. Flick the ball up, hit it over my head, go for the volley, and he hit it bottom corner. So we have got Ziyech here on a free kick. I understand he's only got 89 free kick accuracy, but I'll tell you what, that 99 shot power should carry this shot into the back of the net if I do it perfectly. That's not a terrible power. I'm going to time it yellow though and that's where I went wrong. If I timed that green, it had a chance. Go on. Go on. Oh my god, he jammed his way through that. That is something I can say. But even when he lost the ball there, like it bounced off someone, he was straight onto it and that's what I love about his aggression. Pele. Ziyech. Touch. Step overs. Cut towards the inside, not the greatest like skill move to take a touch on. That is something I can say. But if the AI didn't get involved, that was a goal. Take sure around the corner, come on. To be fair to him, I'm actually quite surprised. Like, oh my. No, I tried the McGeady. I tried it, boys. I tried it. I'm going for little skill runs now. You can already tell how comfortable I am starting to feel with him. But I tell you what. He's there's only one problem that I am honestly having with him and it's always going to be annoying It's his strength like that that opportunity there. He actually did pretty well against Van Dyke. I thought he was going to get bodied But it's just like he starts tumbling over and it just starts to get a bit annoying Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, come on You can already tell I use that skill move a lot because it's so effective this year it was ridiculous last year We all know that though but this year is actually quite effective. People don't actually realize I do it. And it's very unpredictable at some points. And it just allows me to get this angle, this perfect angle, just to take the extra touch going up and go for the finesse shot. Little RB turn. You see that right there? That is literally the perfect example of it. The fact that he's avoiding contact there with that high aggression, I really don't know what to say. I'm going to do a little cheeky one, two, please get there. No, that was so close as well. He's not controlling the player. What is he doing? He thinks he's defending me from the back. This is Ziyech we're talking about. He's got the outside foot shot tray. He can cut onto the right foot if he wants to. He can do the outside foot shot tray. I understand there he didn't, but he didn't really need to. Let's all be fair. Oh, that's beautiful. I am going to take this first time. That is a surprise. That is a big, big surprise. Now, the reason I took this first time was it's kickoff at the end of the day. So I thought at this point, anything can go in. So I was like, you know, why not? Let's try a right foot a short, a three-star weak foot. I could have easily took it down, put it onto his left foot, and it was going to be a goal. Let's all be fair. 
But it was one of those occasions where I wanted to try out that right foot. Because uh, I haven't yet. And I'll tell you what. It's looking pretty decent. So it is time to review him. And I must say he was actually a really, really nice player. But I did kind of expect him to be a good player. I just didn't, didn't expect him to be this good. 400k. I feel like I did overpay. I feel like he's a 300k player. If anything, 350k. So I'll probably lose for around 100k tax on him. But it doesn't matter. As long as I get a review out, I'm all happy. Four games played, five goals, one assist. I'll tell you what, that's actually pretty decent. Especially when he was playing in a cam slash striker role. Now, 5 for 11, I actually like it in a cam role simply because they have a little bit of an interception reach and they win the majority of the 50-50s if the ball is up in the air. So that's always nice. The high medium work rates. When he was playing striker, no, sorry, when he was playing Cam in a 4-2-3-1, he does switch a lot with the striker. So that's something I'll definitely advise to be careful with. But he is not a play, he is not a bad player to have up front. He really isn't. Like the left foot is an absolute bullet. Now the five-star skill moves, I would say hands down, the favorite skill move, the running scoop turn around the corner. It's so so overpowered. It allows me to gain an angle that my opponents do not expect. The three-star weak foot, I must say, I did have one no, two shots with it. One shot absolutely flew in, but it was kickoff, so that is something you do have to understand. But the other chance, it actually went uh, wide. Now, I would advise, if anything, if you are going to shoot into that weaker foot, finesse with it. Do not power shot with it, it will not go in. Now, pace-wise, his acceleration was absolutely insane. I did see him slow down a little bit because of the sprint speed, but it wasn't too much, and it did not allow players to really catch up to him. Shooting-wise, as I said, on the left foot, consistent as hell. It literally flies into the back of the net. It's like a Morris, if I had to say anyone. Yeah, I would honestly compare him to Morris. The agility is exactly the same. Shooting with the left foot, exactly the same. Pace, I would say Morris is a bit quicker, though. Now, passing-wise, he's an absolute insane passer. One of the best passers in this game, but I must say... With the right foot, bit inconsistent. There was time to time where it let me down. And even though I thought three star minimum four for uh, passing wise, I still go with that. I still go with that because there was just a few occasions where ZH passed it bad with the right foot. Not a lot. And most likely it was when I was doing an RBA with it. Now dribbling, as I said, absolutely insane. He feels like Morris on the ball, which <laughs> you already know how much I like that card. Now strength. This is one thing I didn't like about him as well. He avoided a lot of contact. Now, you might question it going, yeah, obviously he's going to avoid a lot of contact. He can't win the contact to contact situations, right? But the thing is, he would absolutely, he would just leave the ball. Like, he, if someone he saw, like, Sergio Ramos come towards him, there would be some occasions where he would completely leave the ball and just try not to get bodied. Like, I would advise, like, I would honestly want, rather have you get bodied and try to fight for the ball rather than just leave the ball and let him have it. That is something I absolutely despise about him. And he kept doing it. And it was like a weird animation. Now, Stamina White, he did last throughout the whole 90 minutes. But aggression, that was something I was some that was something I was impressed about. Simply because he was fighting for it quite a lot. But I felt like it wasn't 99. I felt like he was more into the 90 zone than anything. Like dead, like dead on 90. I definitely didn't think he was 99. Now we do have to give him a rating out of 10. I did really like him, but I didn't feel like he was you know, like a 10 out of 10 player. So I'm not going to put him up there. I am going to give him a 9 out of 10 though. Because he was really nice. And I tell you what, you link this guy with promise and you got one hell of an attack. But as I said, if there's one player I would compare him to, it's definitely Morris. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.